All right, gentlemen, this fight's scheduled for 10 rounds. You received your instructions in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution you. Any punches below this point will be called low. Copes de bajo, de este punto, serio mato bajo. With that said, I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Obedezco mis comandos y protegerse a su mismo siempre. Touch on that now. Good luck to both of you. Buenos suerte ambos. Tokenlos. Okay. Bien. Impressive bilingual display by Vic Draculich in the middle of the ring. By the way, the number 54 there for your Dennis Ugas is his good friend, Aroldis Chapman, the New York Yankees. Ugas, a last minute replacement for Sean Porter. Porter was initially to be fighting on this night, one of the top welterweights in the world. Delorme was prepping for a very different man, Sugar Ray Leonard, than the one he's facing today. Well, that's some that's some of a problem because you you are training for a specific style. And Porter is, you know, a wrecking <laughs> machine. He's a bowling ball coming straight at you. Ugas, very, very different. And Ugas is revitalized. He's won four straight after a two-year layoff. We were talking about amateur pedigree earlier in the night. And well, he's a world champion in 2005 and then Olympic gold medalist, uh, excuse me, bronze medalist in 2008 as Delorme flashes out a jab. So Ugas said he had management difficulties, was somewhat disillusioned with the game. Things don't go your way. But he is now back. Both men threw a, a overhand right and they both miss. Delorme with a new trainer for this fight. There's another one, Ray, isn't there? Right hand goes buzzing over the head of Ugas. They are winging, and they're winging their shots. The right hand, it, it, it's like a looping right hand. It's not straight like it should be. Could be a shootout. Vicious. It, you want bad intentions right there? You're in. There it's you go. With, it's with bad intentions. They both are swinging from South Carolina. That, that had a sound effect that he threw over the top, which like that. Like a video game. Misses again with the right hand. Well, Delorme is showing good head movement, as he'd better if he's going to survive. Trainer is Joel Diaz. First fight with Delorme in his charge. And Diaz said, look, this guy is at the top of the welterweight division. He feels his confidence has gone way up. Again, he's been in with some of the best guys in the world, but he has lost. Got knocked out by Terrence Crawford, junior welterweight champion of the world. No, no shame in that but also was knocked out by Luis Abregu a while back. That's wins over Hank Lundy, Chop Chop Corley, Frankie Frigoroa. So he's been in against very good competition. Well, Terrence Crawford, I mean, that's, yeah. that's so much talent. Both fighters measured, but both winging hard, hard shots. Welterweight, which was the division that was ruled by Floyd Mayweather, still the deepest in boxing. That was just a plethora of talent in the welterweight division. We'll talk about that. I'm going to ask you who you would favor, Floyd Mayweather versus the top guys at welterweight. Still, he's fighting a guy making his pro debut, but that's later. Round two here in Las Vegas. Thomas Delorme versus your Dennis Ugas. Both men with a lot of hard winging shots in the first round. Not a lot of damage, though, in the early going. 
Rain, let me ask you, a lot of people have, have asked me, what happens if Conor McGregor wins? To which I say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't looked past this night as of yet. And I wonder, even though he says he's fighting Floyd Mayweather, who we know he's been retired for two years, but who would you favor, say, Floyd versus Keith Thurman, who is widely regarded as the best welterweight in the world today? Who would you favor if they were, if they were fighting tonight? Yeah. Well, yeah. Me too. It's all those things. I'm sorry, but... But, uh... Mayweather. I would too. Even though I think Floyd is, cannot believe his luck that he's not fighting Keith Thurman and can make all this money facing a guy who's making his pro debut. I, would, rubber meets the road, I would favor Floyd Mayweather. I think he would be able to get one more big night and beat the, the biggest, baddest guy out there in his weight class. So but, if Conor McGregor wins, he's got to be regarded number one in the world at welterweight. In the deepest division in boxing, he will have taken over boxing. I'm saying if. I'm saying if. You have to be ready for these contingencies, right? Your eyes tell me something different. <laughs> He's looking at me askance, I think is the word. He's like, what? I'm just, there, there, all the probabilities. I don't know. It's, I, don't, I don't think so either, but we'll see. Just, just putting it out there before anything happens tonight. Floyd has that level of skill, even at age 40. And he is, you know, showing look decline here and there. His legs obviously no longer where they used to be, but his level of skill is still supreme. And we'll see it on display here tonight. We believe we will. Both of these fighters are able to move their head rapidly. Most of these shots are missing. So this is a high level of skill. Well, these guys are just throwing pretty bombs. Uh, they have pretty much the same kind of style. Yeah, it's the same level of velocity, isn't it? And, and, and intentions, and what would you do? Could you, you change your pace? Maybe throw a little shorter, just a tap, a little faster workout, shots, would you do that? Just, I, I would mix up the punches. Throw looping punches, body shots, just mix it up. But there's so much alike. Good uppercut there by Ugas, and Glover takes a knee. So that landed. Three. The count begins. Four. Dracovich looks over. Five. That was an uppercut. Didn't Six. look like too much, but seven. He was forced Eight. to take the knee. You will see a change. In the corner. Back in the corner. And Ugas. Right now. Knocked down in round two. Final seconds. Good body shot. That landed. Oh, he goes down again. Hard shot. Second Three. knocked out of the round. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Box. That's the end of round two. Okay, come on, relax. Mira, una Si te llega tocado otra vez así como te tocó ahorita, hey, ya te no te levantes. Hey, te van a dar el cabo de todas maneras. You gotta be able to keep your hands up at all times. Más inteligencia. You use your intelligence. Look, you can't be following the runner. Try to use to knock him out. Use your intelligence. Pero cuando te metes adentro, tienes que tener tus defensas cerradas y contragolpearlo. Se trabaja en él y tú contragolpearlo. It was pretty, pretty much time, perfectly. Had his man in trouble. One more time, you can start, you can start this fight. Women, use your punches. Come on, throw. All right, Delorme throws a beautiful right uppercut and a loop in my hand. Put his man to the canvas. Put him down twice. We've got wild action here already in round three. Ugas letting it fly. Oh, this is going to be over. Delorme staggered, took a knee after that first knockdown, and then went down again and was only saved, really, because the bell right after he was getting up. Not saved by the bell, but by the lack of time. Delorme is still hurt, but he has he has heart. He has will. Well, he is firing back. He wants to fight back, but he might be outgunned. And Ugas is revitalized. He had three early losses in his career, all by decision, all to fighters who were undefeated at the time of the fight. So he loses those fights, has management difficulties, goes away for a while, but now he is back. Trading hard shots. Another solid right hand. No 
more pushing. Vic Dracovic says no more pushing to get inside. That shot right on the belt, right on the 54. Halfway through round three. Spearing, to say the least. Well, mate, moving that head, which he should, but he should not wing that right hand. Well, when he wings that right hand, it's telegraph. In other words, you can see it coming. And that right hand from Ugas Ray comes right off the shoulder, directed right off the chin of Delorme. Again, and Ugas taking this fight on short notice. Lands a hook, lead hook, flush on the jaw. Delorme fires back. Ugas' people told him, Ray, stay ready. When the was Porter Delorme, they told him, stay ready. We don't, they didn't know which guy might not go, but they had a feeling, well, he looks ready to go tonight. It's just who lands their punch. And they're both are just Work out, work out of there, work out. Break! And start pushing. I can see this punch coming. Tight Delorme is just, it's like, it's silent for a moment as they all load up to throw their bomb. We're through three. It's been exciting. Tell him to watch the push. Yes, sir. You open it up, vamos. Don't open up so much. Come on. Ese cruzado, mira. Boom, boom. Ya está cansado. Doble, mira. Cruzado aquí y yo open. Ok, vamos. Agua. Agua, agua. La cabeza. Ya se está cansando, se ha dado. Agarra. 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 Y entonces te van a quitar los puntos. Sí, sí. La vaselina. Aquí tengo la vaselina ahora. Sí, bien. Sí, es como empezamos. No te empezamos si tú empezaste bien. Tú empezaste bien, no te pongas bruto. Cojones, ya tú tienes ese tipo. Vamos. And we get right back to the ring because you don't want to miss one shot. Because one shot, all the favor Sugar Ray Leonard could end it. The way these guys are throwing. These guys are throwing bombs, but they're being telegraphed. Oh, and they're getting caught. But again, one thing about it, these guys have pretty good chance. Delorme yeah, had. just yeah, landed the straight head right hand. It shook the head over on Ugas, but Ugas just shook it right off. Come It's our final fight here on Fox tonight on our prelims. Brian Kenny, Sugar Ray Leonard. It's been a lot of fun. This arena just slowly starts to fill up. As we get ready for the final four fights on the pay-per-view leading up to Conor McGregor making his professional Come debut in, in the ring against Floyd Mayweather, who could not resist. And who could? 150 million. <laughs> Ray, you came out of retirement quite a bit. <laughs> uh, too many times. <laughs> too many times. For those of you too young to remember, I this young. man came back a few times. <laughs> quite a few times. Frank! Something Coming in, coming in. <laughs> it's okay. I'm glad you're here. Thanks, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Delorme is spirited, man. He gets back in, throws a hard shot to the bottom. Ugas told us that this would be an explosive fight. Hey, we're both explosive fighters. He was absolutely correct. Yeah. They just need to be a little busier, a little more busier. <laughs> They're trying to take wow. each other's heads off. It is interesting. Yeah, it's like there's no change of of, of pace, or pace or speed exactly. or anything, right? You know, change as, you know, Conor McGregor talks about Bruce Lee stuff all the time, right? Change the pacing, change the, the speed, and everything's full throttle. If you get hit with it, you, you might be in bad shape. Go. Because he is throwing hard. And in the corner, Joel Diaz was telling Delorme, he's getting tired, he's getting tired already. Do you think that's the case, or is that just what he has to say to keep his guy motivated? Whatever, whatever works. You see the, that overhand right? 
by Yugas. Yeah. It just depends on who punch lands first. That uppercut landed hard on the body of Delorme. Everything is coming out hard. Full throttle by two guys who are in shape and ready to rumble. Ugas, the older guy, a Cuban defector, 31 years old. He only has 22 pro fights. But you can see the pedigree. You can see the style. He apologizes to Vic Draculich. I guess if that was low, perhaps. Or push once again. Yeah, he's trying not to push. Final seconds. Getting ready for Mayweather McGregor. Good job. Prelim fights here getting ready for Mayweather McGregor here on Fox. Brian Kenny, Hall of Famer and all-time pound-for-pound great Sugar Ray Leonard. Round five, Thomas DeLorme was supposed to be fighting Sean Porter, thought he would be. Instead, he is facing Jordanis Ugas, who has been terrific. We are under 30 minutes away for the pay-per-view. Four fights on that pay-per-view, of course, capped by the return of Floyd Mayweather. Looking for 50 and 0. Strong right hand. I tell you, in that last round, right, DeLorme did, in fact, we saw a replay landing flush on the jaw of Ugas, who ate it and just moved on. These guys, they punch with such conviction. I mean, they're, they're not afraid to get hit, back or counter. I mean, look at the shots they're throwing. I mean, each one with one intention to put the other down. Ugas taking a good long look at his man, a, a rare moment of observation. As Delorme backs his man up. Crisp right hand by Delorme. Again, it is odd, Ray, because it's not like they're two cavemen going after each other. They're, they're, they're moving their heads, they're using boxing skill, but they're just full, they're, they're throwing full throttle every single shot. And they want that big shot to come through. It's like an extra innings with everyone swinging for the fences. Someone should tell Aroldis Chapman to tell Ugas that. Well, Ugas is doing the right thing with his jab. Every now and then he'll, he'll throw his, he'll use his jab, and that is the key. But don't throw that loop in my hand. That should be a surprise. Mm. That's the kind of punch. Good, Good jab, jab. yeah. Good jab. Delorme shoots it straight ahead, and now he moves Ugas back. Hard and, right hand from the And they, they're capable of doing combination, and good combination. They, they, they just have to let the hands go. <laughs> Uppercut being traded. And landed in a hook. Coming in, Raises Frank. the chin of Delorme. Ugas is throwing hard shots, body and head. <laughs> Oh, oh, body stop, shots. Stop. And was that low? Time. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, okay, go that next corner. You okay? All right. Okay, time in. Well, if he calls that a low blow, I mean, you can ask if he's all right, but he can take time if he wants. Yes, he can. He opted not to. Nobody ever takes the full five. The ref looks at you and says, you're ready to go. What are you going to say? Uh, give me a couple of minutes. Give me a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're smart, right? <laughs> Most people do not have the wherewithal to do that. <laughs> These guys just <laughs> eager to trade as they continue no, no, no. on. Oh, no, no, no. no, it's about to go. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. 
sabes lo, lo, que, lo que está pasando. Pues, okay, porque porque ahora, sea, ahora es el momento de tú hacer tu goceo, pero tu goceo no puede ser dormido. No you, me you can't be tú asleep. tienes que hacer tu goceo alegre. Yo no puedo ver el box en televisión. Porque él está apurado y él viene para ti. Venga, me tira. Ok. Él está apurado, es lo que. He's just looking for that counter shot. Watch Momo, that's what's got to be a point. Okay, he's not pushing my Momo. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Vamos, Tomás. Ese cabrón no te hace nada, tienes que trabajar, Tomás. He can't do nothing to you. No está trabajando suficiente. You need to keep working. Let's go. I'm thinking of it, but one shot, Thomas. One combination. Let's go. Pito a poco. Let's go. 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 Let's Back here in Las Vegas, Brian Kenny joined by Sugar Ray Leonard here on Fox. Round six, Thomas Delorme and Jordanis Ugas. This is our main event here on Fox. It's the Mayweather-McGregor prelims as we get closer to the pay-per-view. And four fights on that pay-per-view, of course, Floyd Mayweather comes back into the ring, lured out of retirement by the riches promised by Conor McGregor. Promised and delivered. It, that works every time. <laughs> and, and for Floyd, look, it's a, an avenue for revenue. And he has done that time and time again. You know, Floyd was a guy who was, had eight title defenses at 130 pounds, and he was pretty boy Floyd and didn't make a big splash about things, just did his work in the ring. And then he realized, no, I want to get really paid. And he has made that happen the last 10 years. This fight has been action packed. Hard shots, as you can see. Body shot come on, come on, by Ugas. Right on the touch. The old man landed a good left hook, but he followed through. Yeah, Delorme seems to be a little outgunned, but not out of it yet. Not out of it, no. These guys possess power with those hands. Come in. Back it up. Watch it, man. Let's go, let's go, watch it on the back side. Let's go, boom. Nice jab as Ugas catches him on the way out. A lot of talent in the welterweight division. The one basically, we believe, vacated finally by Floyd Mayweather, although who knows, wins tonight. Maybe we see him again. He's promised his own children that he would not do that. But we've heard that before, Ray. Not just from him, you, Bernard Hopkins, oh, lots of people. All of us. <laughs> yeah. So, just saying. But if he's out, there's still so much talent at welterweight. And Ugas and Delorme want in. Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Sean Porter. All those names are definitely qualified. I see fatigue has set in on these guys, so they're very open and vulnerable for a big shot. One of these guys may go down again. Two knockdowns in the second round by Ugas. Delorme got rocked, and now Ugas is complaining again. I didn't say what he's... Uh, did you see that, Ray? I'm blocked by that. Uh, maybe a, a low blow. I don't know. I didn't... Uh, if it's a low blow, if it's on the back, we'll take a closer look as we step away here for a moment to get ready for the next round. Oh, it's below low blow. Yeah, can you see that, guys? What was he complaining about? Listen to me. Hey, when you're in here, hey, work right, left, but don't go too low. Right here. When you throw the right, fucking hit him right in the body and then off. Hey, all you have to do is give me water. Give me fucking water. Hey, all you have to do is pressure him. This guy's fucking tired. He wants his way out. El quiere hey. cuidar. Presiona lo, presiona lo con tu defensa. Cerrada, la beginning of the round. Ya anda muerto de cansancio. He's tired, man.
We're back in Las Vegas, and here's what your Dennis Ugas was complaining about. Thomas Delorme there, kind of right on the belt. That's low. Again, it was maybe the top of the belt to be okay, but below there, no. And it was kind of, it was kind of short and sneaky, right? Well, yeah. I, mean, I don't think it was intention, intentional, I should say. I mean, these guys, Watch behind the head. They, uh, Watch behind the head. Watch the fatigue, but they're in great shape, if that makes sense. Because these guys are still throwing big punches. No, I agree with you. Like I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think he's trying. Like every shot, I don't think he's trying to fight dirty. I think, right, he just, he's getting down there and throwing body shots. And there's another one. And now Vic Draculich is going to take a point away. Yes, indeed. Point. He's seen enough. Point. I think that's Keep the call. punches up. I'm not going to tell you again. Okay, Jay. Go. You hear that from Draculich. He can continue to take points away. You're gaining an advantage. You keep hitting the guy right there on the belt. He wants to throw on the body. That's that's close. They're all close. Dracula's taking a close look. Brian Kenny and Sugar Ray Leonard here. The prelims here on Fox getting ready for Mayweather McGregor. Had an outstanding fight to kick things off here tonight. And this fight, action packed as well. Hard hitting at the very least. <laughs> Delorme's corner thinks Ugas is exhausted. They were telling him that in the corner, right? And I, maybe there's something to it that he's slowing down. But they say he's done. He's done. Again, could be some wishful thinking, encouraging your own man to find his own energy. But maybe Ugas is slowing down a bit. Oh, they both are slowing down, but they still letting some good shots go through. They executed some good shots. Wild hook by Delorme. <laughs> and Ugas measuring that right hand. It did everything he could not to throw it. Now he throws an uppercut again. That's one that scored in the early rounds and gained a knockdown. Delorme needs to use the jab to work his way in. He throws good shots, but he needs to work his way in instead of just stepping forward. He's throwing a punch. You have to be in position, the right position, and balance. Exciting fight, though. Oh, oh God. Gets hurt, and still he fires back. Well, I thought he was hurt. His head snapped he, back. He was hurt, but he covered quickly. <laughs> Within a second. Come on. Go. Wow, what a chin. What a chin. He absorbs another shot. Hooks and uppercuts from Delorme. Those landed. Wow. Those were hard shots. That was a serious shot. And Ugas didn't go anywhere. I mean, he's just still standing in. He didn't back up. Final seconds here, but we're going to have a short break. And we're we're going to be able to come back and take a look at some of those shots. Oh, and down goes Ugas. Delorme finally got him. Cinco. Says. Siete. Ocho. Right. Right. Walk to me. Let's go. Fox. Oh. Whoa, as the bell rings, we're going to keep it here for just a few seconds just to absorb what happens there. Ugas somehow absorbed thunderous shots and then got dropped. Somehow he's recovering in the corner. But right here's where he went down. A big shot. Here we go. The right hand and the hook put him down, put Ugas down. Ugas down. A clean oh. shot, short and sweet. Didn't quite turn it over, but again, he had already eaten at least two thunderous shots where somehow he weathered those at storm. And it's been those leaping punches that's been put him down. And remember, there was a point taken away. So while you have a 10-8 round going in, point taken away, 9-8, Joel Diaz has Delorme standing up, or Delorme has Delorme standing up. He didn't sit down. So he's ready to go. It's time to pounce. And we kept it right here between rounds to see that action. Back we go as Thomas Delorme looks to put his man away. Stand close on the left hook. That's a good left hook. Hard hook on Ugas again. He weathered that, but he looks a little shakier now. That one off the head. Delorme looking outgunned through much of this fight. But he is firing back, and that's a sharp jab as well. But these guys definitely have a chin. And heart. I, he only got knocked down, Ray, I believe, because he just didn't see it. 
You know, if he could see it, he could absorb anything. He didn't see the hook watching the right hand, and then he went down. Well, even when you see it, the punch, he gets like that. <laughs> <laughs> This was, I mean, both guys just giving their all. Come on. Delorme thought he was going to have a shot at the top of the welterweight division, at least the upper echelon in Sean Porter. Instead, he is fighting just to stay in it. A loss to Ugas here would be very bad for business. You know, you can lose. When top guys face each other, you can absorb a loss. But it's just not good for business. You will be set back. Hard uppercut from Delorme. That's right on the belt. That was pretty close. Vic Dracula is aware, says keep him up as he steps away. Tries that hook, a lot of it blocked. A lot of these shots are being blocked. It's hard really ready to figure out which, what's landing, what's not, until a head snaps around. And that's happened a few times. They, they definitely throw bombs here. That hook landed. Lorman moving his head, but he's still taking shots. Well, this is an interesting round to score, right? I mean, I'm not even thinking in those terms, right? But yeah. like a judge, a judge has to think that way. As we see, we're about 13 minutes away from the pay-per-view, the main event, get closer to Mayweather-McGregor. But a judge has to be thinking about how many punches are landing and you know, how how much weight is on each punch as that landed and those landed. I mean, they both are really nailing each other, and every now and then they throw a kind of a moving punch, a big punch, telegraph. And when they, they short the punch up, someone goes down. We're in the eighth round, scheduled for ten. Look out of there, look out. Final seconds, we'll step away. Two rounds left, unless someone gets dropped right here. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Two knockdowns early. Delorme got a knockdown of his own. And we get it for Holden. Off the right hand, left hook combination. Out, that was Let's just go. beautiful. This is a, again, a, we're, we have not been walking through, Ray, talking about how each round would be scored because we're just watching the action, as I'm sure everybody is around the country having a boxing party. But at a certain point, we might go to the judges. Exactly. The They're going out. at each other with okay. big punches, right. with serious intention. And they both have great chance. Spike! Conan O'Brien weighing in. Again, it was on Conan's show that Conor McGregor, I, I don't think he'll wear those shorts, but he's, it was on his show initially that he started talking about Floyd Mayweather. Floyd thought, hey, you know, he's, this guy's talking a lot of smack. But then when the money came, he, he was ready to go. Big hook by DeLorme. Go. And Mayweather had through the years said a lot of things about MMA fighters that a lot of MMA fighters thought was uh, disrespectful. Right. right. And anytime he talked about, I'll go and fight one of these MMA guys, I mean, we knew that wasn't going to happen. He can't get in and wrestle, do jujitsu or anything like that. But what we really didn't know was that Conor McGregor Break. was very serious about just boxing. And he thought he could just do that. That's what he has agreed to tonight. And that is a different animal. Come up. A de totally different animal. I thought it was all trash talking. And uh, I mean, it was funny. But uh, it's a reality now. Tonight, it's a reality. Keep him up. You got yeah, him. Right on the belt of Ugas. The corner is complaining. 
final minute of round nine. Big fight for both men. As you can see with their preparation, even on short notice, Ugas is in tremendous condition. They have not met up, Brian. They, they are still throwing big bombs. There's a great oh, pace. Deborme there, much sharper with his punches. Now he's complaining again, as that was right off his hip, I believe. He's trying to land with the hook, and as it's blocked by the elbow, he'll sometimes go a little behind, a little low, not necessarily dirty. The point has already been taken away. That hook landed. That hook landed. The uppercut landed by Delorme. A hook right off the head of Delorme. He stays up. Wow. Wow, wow. That was a hard shot. Thudding hooks by Delorme, and then he eats a hook. But his spirit seems to be so strong, Ray, he just kind of wobbled and went right back at it. That's exactly what was there. His will to win, his will to stay in there. You're not using your right hand enough. Round, come, on. come on, this is the final round. You cannot take it. careless. Tenth and final round. This has been terrific. Thomas Delorme, you, you saw his trainer, Joel Diaz. Diaz throwing good combinations in the corner, right? Well, I'll tell you what, this last round, I think it's a deciding factor. Uh, it's a very entertaining fight. It could be. Again, you really have to be paying attention, scoring in each and every round, watching for each landed shot like those. Every shot is fairly hard, so you don't have trouble measuring, you know, a feather duster jab against a hard body shot. Stop, stop, Ugas stop. is complaining again. Come on, come on. Point. And now he point. takes a point away point. from Delorme. I you to cut it out. But I'm going to tell you again. Yes. Go. Time in. Box. Big right hand. Last gasp for both men. A lot of time left. Let it, that's just when they let it all go. The sting has gone out of Ugas' punches for the most part. And as I say that, he fires a pretty good hook. So not quite. There's still something in there. Delorme's punches have been sharper over the last third of this fight. These, these kind of fighters you can't count out. And they always, and they have that power. And that determination. Is, right, and it, it is, it's the spirit of both guys that you can see, right? Both really want it. They're peaking. Ugas is building momentum. He's off back-to-back -back wins over unbeaten fighters. He sees his career slipping away. He's 31 years old. He gets a last second shot because Sean Porter bows out because of personal reasons, and he's making the most of it right now. Big Draculich calls time. Did the mouthpiece come out? No, I believe it's the tape. I think it's gloves. Okay. Yes, it is. Time so a brief respite for both. Each gets to catch their breath here for a second and get back to the last minute of fury. Delorme letting it fly. So is Ugas. They both are just whipping those shots, Migos, <laughs> with such authority. The Ugas corner, you can hear them as Delorme steps in with a good right hand. Anything that they think would be borderline illegal, they're screaming at Vic Dracula, but they'd love to get another point. 
Final 30 seconds. How much do they have left? You can understand not much. Delorme still trying to land that big shot. Tied up now by Ugas in the final let's go. seconds. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. And this will be interesting, as we believe we're going to the judges' scorecards. Unless something crazy happens. And it might. There we go. We will go to the judges' scorecards. This will be interesting. Outstanding fight at the welterweight division. Back in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Ricardo Ocasio scores about 94 to 91. Judges Max DeLuca and John McKay both scores about 93 to 92. All three in favor of the winner, Jordani Ugas earns the win in an exciting fight. Hey, we're done. We hope you had a great time. For Sugar Ray Leonard, Kate, and all the guys outside, I'm Brian Kenny. Thanks for watching us on Fox. Pay-per-view is coming up next.